Hello and welcome to this beginner exotic dance choreography. This one is particularly slow, as you can see from the demonstration, and we're starting on the floor today in front of the pole. As you can see, it also goes full circle so that we can finish the routine in the same place that we started in order to continue our practice, to loop around again, and of course, to transition easily to the other side using our flow work introduction as our transition between the two sides. So remember, practice both sides as always and make sure that you fully warmed up before you go into this choreography. You're going to start lying down on the floor next to your pole. At a time of your choosing, we're going to go into a glorious trucker girl pose by tilting the pelvis hard to send your spine forwards and rising up onto the crown of your head. So tilt, breathing in, breathe out, feel free to use your hands on your body and out to the side for support. You can use them however you feel um, called to do so as you're working with the music. When you're ready, <sighs> relaxing back down to the floor again, tucking your tailbone under to use your abs to draw your heels up towards your bum. Grabbing your stiletto points, we're gonna drive the sole of the shoe into the floor as we peel our hips up with a pelvic tilt to transition into some hip bridge body rolls. Now, as we do so, as you can see in my shoes here, I'm now balancing on the spike or the stiletto part of my shoes. As I tilt to bring my hips all the way up, I'm pushing my hips all the way to the ceiling until I arrive at a pelvic tuck. And then I'm gonna extend my ankles to put the weight forward on the very tip of my shoe or on the slope of the shoe. So that way my stiletto points are lifting. I'm using my hands to hold on while squeezing my shoulders and gently pressing my elbows into the floor whilst doing so. We're gonna continue with some hip bridge body rolls here for as many as you like. I think in the demonstration I've done four. So lovely and slow. And on your last one, the outside leg, is going to lift up, devil pay, and extend as you bring your hips back down and the leg follows last. Now, your outside hand is going to draw up lovely and straight so that we can breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna push and roll over, taking that knee to the floor. Inside hand follows so we can roll onto our hips and chest, face down. Hand is coming underneath the shoulder the now inside hand is coming in to meet it so that we can grip the floor gently with our fingertips, tilt the pelvis hard and coming back up onto the knees with a stripper push-up, tucking the tailbone under, 
to come into a very gentle sit here with a head circle and a chest circle. Let's add on the next bit, which is a stand up onto the feet without using the pole. Now, don't be scared and don't worry if you feel a little bit wobbly when you're first trying this. It will become more natural with practice. I'm gonna plant both hands onto the floor. So I'm in an all fours position. I call this a bunny hop because it's exactly like how a cute little rabbit might um, hop. Now, we do this by pressing our fingertips firmly into the floor, arms straight and pressing our shoulders down as well, as if we're going to do a handstand. Of course, we're not doing an actual handstand, but it's that same press and push action from the upper body, which is what we want. You're gonna decide um, on which leg you're going to step first. I always lead with my right leg, but it's really up to you. And I'm gonna change angles just so that you can see better what's going on. So as I push and lift up with both of my feet, I'm gonna step on my right leg and then on my left leg out to the side, transferring my weight into the center so that both legs are now straight, tilting my pelvis hard so that I can body roll up nice and safely back to the center. Once you're here, don't get scared. It can be a little bit weird to be standing in your heels without the pole to hold on to. Like, oh my gosh, where am I in space and time? Who am I? Are those my feet? <laughs> but don't panic. Put the weight into one side by gently tipping your hip over to the side again. Again, I'm favoring my right hand side for this move so that I can drag the other leg back into standing, pulling in the core nice and tight and lifting up through the rib cage so that we can stand and turn so that we can walk back to our pole. I'm gonna show you that bunny hop a couple more times from um, two different angles so that you can see better what's going on and so that you can feel confident doing it. And then we'll go from the beginning once more. So from this side, fingertips press into the floor, breathing in as you breathe out, decide which leg you're going to put all of your weight onto first. Step, outside leg follows, planting both legs firmly into the ground. As you can see, I've still got that weight on my leading leg. I'm gonna transfer the weight into the center, pushing both of my legs straight and tilting my pelvis hard so I can come up with a back arch. It's important to come up with a pelvic tilt here or pushing your booty backwards as if we're standing up something like this with the legs really straight, it can feel very shaky and we don't want that per se. It's not nice to feel unbalanced. So the more that you make a pelvic tilt, it's gonna give you that classic exotic dance feel and you're going to have more balance, so double win. And one more time from this side. Here we go, breathe in and breathe out. Step one, two, weight to the center, hard pelvic tilt, body rolling back up to the center. So one more time from the beginning, starting lying on your back, face up, trucker girl pose, breathing in and breathing out and relax, melting it all the way back down as you breathe in, drawing your heels up towards your bum, transferring the weight from your spike to the slope of your shoes as you tilt your pelvis up, tucking it under down, tilt on the way up, tuck on the way down, Two more, tilt, tuck, keep pressing your ankles forward, <sighs> keeping those nice straight lines. <sighs> and on the way down, lifting your outside leg, extending, pressing it into the floor. Keep that inside leg bent, draw up your outside hand, so that way we have a nice straight line to roll over, breathe in, and as you breathe out, taking your opposite hand to your chest, rolling nicely to the floor, taking your sweet time about it. Both hands come to, Rib cage level so that we can make a hard pelvic tilt. Strip or push up all the way back onto the knees, tucking your tailbone under to drop it to a sit. Hair flick with a chest circle. Bunny hop, breathing in and breathe out. As we body roll up out of it, decide whichever side you're going to go to. But please take some time here to move your hair out of your face, which is always me in this instance before you drag your feet together by putting the weight into one side, dragging your feet, pivot on your heels so that you can turn. I'm putting the weight slightly forward onto the slope of my shoes a little bit so that way I can turn easily and walk back to my pole. Let's add on the next section. So we're going to add on 
step around to leg admiration with a switch so that we can continue going to leg admiration on both sides. I'm adding on three leg admirations in total. However, you can choose to do as many as you want, but at least two as a minimum is good. So that way we can demonstrate the switching sides and that beautiful repetition. So stepping inside leg, breathe out, step around, inside leg slides up the pole, head, chest and shoulders comes around to finish the, the wave. So we have our first leg admiration, moving the hips around the pole in a half circle to the other side. That's number two. And number three, third leg admiration. Now, from here, as you're standing back up again, we're going to use the opposite hand to the hooked leg to make a waiter pirouette. So as you can see, I've still got my inside hand on the pole. So outside hand crosses the body. I'm gonna release the, the heel that's on the pole. And as I slide and push my hand up, opposite hand comes off. Be mindful to take your knee through the gap as you're sliding your hand up the pole and then keep turning and turning and turning until your opposite side hip meets the pole. And that way the pole is now on the same side of your body as the hand that you're making the weight or pirouette with so that we can come into this side hold position. We're gonna add on a, um, a leg extension here, drawing up your inside knee, keeping that standing leg straight and tipping the weight forward onto the slope of your shoe by extending your ankles, chest up, head falls back and extend. If you feel good, you can take off that outside hand as you're making your pose here <sighs> and breathing in as you stand all the way up slowly. So let's go for that whole section one more time from the walk after you've made your bunny hop up, put the weight onto one side so that you can drag your feet together Rise up slightly onto the ball of your foot so that you can pivot and turn back towards your pole again. Taking a little walk around and as you step on your inside leg, breathe in, breathe out to make your step around to your leg admiration, continuing the wave with your head, neck and shoulders, unwinding to come to the other side, <sighs> breathing through it. I'm gonna add on one more. So I've got three in total and last leg admiration coming all the way back up. Outside hand comes onto the pole, sliding all the way up, releasing the other hand as you turn. Be mindful of that knee and shoe coming through the gap so you don't hit the pole. And keep turning so it's a little bit more than one full rotation. It's about a rotation and a half. Keep turning until you can't turn anymore and your inside, or now inside hip, meets the pole to come into your side hold. Taking your time to extend your ankles forward, legs as straight as you can. Don't worry if you're having trouble keeping your knees straight. Go as far as your hips and your balance will allow you to go for now. Picking up the inside leg, optional second hand off if you want a more difficult version and coming all the way slowly back up the pole whilst breathing. Let's add on the next bit. We're gonna go into a fan kick, into a pirouette. I'm gonna change angle so that you can see clearly what's going on. This can be a Slightly confusing combination, um, but don't worry. There are two movements that you probably already know and have done several times. We're just putting them in a slightly different order than usual. I often see my students struggling to get their heads around this one, but don't worry, it's not difficult. It's just confusing. So you can keep the fan kick on the same side of your body as we are already on. So outside hand comes above. Contacting the pole with the side of your body. So breathing in and as you breathe out, we have our fan kick around, stepping both feet down gently. Now from here, my inside hand is going to be the one that goes up high. So we need to swap our hands around, rolling to the back of your inside hand as you slide it up the pole. And we're gonna go underneath this armpit. So underneath the inside armpit, all the way through to make a pirouette and picking up that inside leg so that we can take the back of the knee to the pole, nice and high, sticking the booty out, standing leg nice and straight. So we're in another leg admiration here. And let's show it from another angle, from the fan kick, here we go. Step and step, inside hand, wrist roll, goes up the pole so that we can take that outside hand off. 
Use your outside hand to push off the pole, picking up your inside leg as you turn to place it nice and high in the pole at the back of the knee. Tilt your pelvis or stick your booty out as you bring your head, neck and shoulders around the pole to admire the pole or admire your leg here and an optional leg extension, which from the right angle can make you look like you're very, very flexible. It's quite a contortion -y move. So make sure that your head is below your knee. We have a little peekaboo here and then slowly coming all the way back up. So let's add on the next section from this point. We're gonna go into a front hook spin from this inside leg hook with the admiration of the pole. Once your back's standing tall again, slide your inside hand up nice and high and drop that inside knee nice and low. That way it's in line more or less with your other knee or becoming closer to the floor, picking your heel up towards your bum. Outside hand can grab onto the pole if you want or if you're comfortable doing this one-handed, that's totally fine. We need to tuck the tailbone under, really squeezing your butt so you can push forward off the outside leg to bring your heels together to come into a front hook spin, landing down on your shins. To get out from here, I'm gonna slide my inside leg forward, dragging my slope of my shoe along the ground to then unhook and place my feet back together again. Let's combine that whole section. So let's go from this angle. We'll pretend that we have done our leg extension. We're coming slowly up, both hands on the pole. Fan kick around, inside hand goes high, outside hand goes low, crossing the body. Pirouette, catching that inside leg on, standing leg straight, tucking your pelvis, or sorry, tilting your pelvis. Optional leg extension here. Coming slowly up, inside hand goes high as your inside leg slides down. Optional outside hand on the pole. Pushing off your outside leg, tucking your tailbone under to land on your shins. And from here, dragging your shoe forwards, lifting your knee slightly, keeping contact with your shoe along the floor so we create a nice drag sensation to release and bring our feet back together. Let's add on the next section from here. I'm gonna keep this inside hand on the pole and we're going to combine a floor pirouette or um, knee pirouette into a spider spin, standing back onto the feet with a sort of a pirouette on the way up, which I'll explain. So the goal from our spin as you're winding down the pole is to continue the flow forwards after we unhook the knee, continue traveling to wind slowly back up the pole again. It's a concept that I've talked about before, this idea of movement spiraling down. It slows down for a second and then it starts to wind and flow and continue to, to generate momentum again. So it's becoming like a wave. Whew, that's the effect that we want to get. Anyway, let's add on the next section and we'll talk about how they piece together. You're gonna go into your um, floor pirouette underneath your inside armpit, outside hand comes back onto the pole again. Wrist roll on the top hand, pushing onto the slope of your shoes. So ankles extended, hips come forward. Outside hand comes back on the pole again and on the way out of your diamond, sweep your outside leg around into your spider spin. Again, landing on the tips of your shoes or the slope of your shoes to extend your ankles forward so that we can come back up to a stand. Now, from the stand, we're gonna add on Another pirouette on the same side, so wrist roll, using your outside hand to cross so that we can make it a full turn or a half turn on the way up. You have some agency here and some choice whether you want to make a, a pirouette and a half or just a half one so that we can get our back onto the pole to go into our body roll descent. So let's talk about as we come out of the spider spin. We're planting both feet down, and as your body rolling up, set up your hands for your pirouette. So top hand first, wrist roll, using your other hand to um, feed you through as you go underneath your armpit, so that we're rolling as we're standing back onto the feet. As I said, it can be a half a pirouette, so you can get your shoulder on, or you can make an extra turn if you want to, to get your shoulder back onto the pole 
stepping your feet away from the base of the pole so we can continue all the way down with these body roll descents, which are covered in a previous tutorial. Stepping one leg at a time all the way down to melt to the floor so that we can land in our trucker girl pose. Yay. Let's go one more time from the front hook spin so that we can combine that whole section together and take it back down to the floor. So we are gonna unhook that hooked leg by lifting the knee slightly, dragging your shoe along the floor, feet come back together. Floor pirouette, wrist roll on the top hand, bottom hand presses. So you can roll over the ankles, one whew, and two, spider spin setting up your wrist roll on the top hand so we can make a pirouette or a half of a pirouette in this case to get your shoulders on the pull. Change your hands both into cup grip so that you can pull the pull towards you, elbows in. And I'm gonna step my feet one at a time away from the pull, taking as many steps as you need to, but you probably only need to make one adjustment for each leg to ensure that you've got space between your butt and the pull to allow for adequate space for your body rolls to happen. Elbows pull in nice and tight as you press the pole to your shoulder, chest up, hips down, chest up, hips down, using your pelvic tilt and tuck. Very similar to the hip bridge body rolls that we did at the start of the routine. Include as many as you want until you get to that point where you become too low to body roll so that you can melt down to the floor, picking up one leg so that we can extend into our trucker girl pose. Hands release off the pole, tilting your pelvis, and we are here. Now, when you're continuing with your flow work, be mindful of where your face is in relation to the pole. As you can see, the pole is in front of me, so to speak, so I can't really roll that way when I'm starting to transition into the rest of the floor work section. So I'm gonna to need to roll away from the pole after my hip bridge body rolls so that I can continue this way to then add on the rest of the floor work section that we covered at the top of the routine. <laughs> Hair flick and a bunny hop up. So do keep that in mind as to where you are in space and try to not roll your neck towards the pole or you're gonna feel a bit choked up. Let's go over the whole routine from start to finish and talk about where the flow starts to fit in, taking your sweet time about it. And starting from this side. So breathe in, breathing out as you extend fully, opening out your trucker girl pose. Slowly bringing your hands along the floor as you relax your head back down and drawing the heels up at the same time. Pelvic tilt as you press your feet down into the ground on the slope of your shoe to make your body roll. Tilting and tucking. On your last one as you peel your hips up, pick up the knee développe, hips come down, shoe comes down. Drawing up your outside hand. Inside hand follows to roll. Whew. Breathing in and breathe out as you push and gently roll over. Body roll, breathing in. Breathe out as you're back onto your knees again. Breathe in, <coughs> breathe out as you make your bunny hop up and take your time here. I'm gonna slowly bring my hair off my face in a very existential dread fashion or thinking all of the sexy thoughts. Put the weight to one side so you can bring your feet back together again, lifting through your rib cage as you turn so that we can step back towards the pole, depending on how near or far you are. Take your time as you drag the slopes of your shoes as you walk. Inside hand goes high, step inside leg. Breathe out, step around into your leg admiration. Breathe in, breathe out. We'll go to the other side. And last time, direction changing. Breathing through it. Now, setting up yourself for your weighted pirouette. We have that turn. Minding your shoe to not hit against the pole, hopefully. Keep turning backwards until you find your body meeting the pole again at the back of your hip. Leg extension, optional. You can keep the knee bent if you prefer and slowly rising up again. 
Take your time to get your hands on the pole, shoulders pull down as you fan kick, breathing in, breathing out, turning your hands into that pirouette as we've already talked about, picking up the inside leg to place at the back of the knee on the pole, having a breather here, optional leg extension. Coming all the way back up as you breathe in, slide your leg down, breathe out, Front hook spin all the way down to the floor, keeping your hips high so you can easily slide your shoe out, transitioning into your pirouette on the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, spider spin. Wrist roll on the top hand so that we can turn, stepping your feet where you need them to be for your body roll descent, back down to the floor. When you get too low, pick up whichever leg you want so we can slide down with a leg in the air. Hands come off the pole. Breathing in, breathe out again for your trucker girl pose so that we can continue the whole choreography from the start. And remember, as you roll away, roll away from your pole. Be mindful of where you're going in space and time so that you have more floor to use. And that is your whole routine, so have fun and enjoy.